Hello everybody and welcome. The next program in our Windows CE journey is, well, actually Python for Windows CE. And I don't have at all experience with Python. I've done only very basic things, uh, but I installed it. And I think interesting is to go through the installation folder to see what we have there. Yeah. So in email, there are a lot of libraries here for parsing, you know, data and so on, yeah? And if you go to encodings, same, you get a lot of code pages here, so you should be able to run. This was before Unicode was pervasive, yeah? this was from 2004. So basically you can support almost all the most usual character sets and you even get like Mac Iceland and Mac Kyrillic and so on, Palm OS. So you are very good to go um, in regards to running Python, you know, scripts or software written for different platforms and dealing with different platforms. Hotshot, I don't know what that is. In lib, you get the application, right? And the DLL is quite big for a Windows C application. 1.17 megabytes is humongous in a device that has, for a device that usually had 8 to 32 megs of memory. Yeah? Um, lib old, then you get, you know, grep, create directory, and so on. If you go to libtk, well, there's a dialog create or a yeah, color chooser. So I think you can create, yeah, I guess TK applications with, you know, some rudimentary graphic interfaces. Some login folder here in XML some parses, oh, expat, huh, and you get, I don't know what it is, but you have an XML reader here, and if you go to DOM, I don't know what this, this does, and down here, you get a socket, to work with the registry probably, base HTTP server, so you can probably run a HTTP server in Python, CGI server here. There's like a compile uh, probably library DLL. You can create threads. Get test of the glob gopher. Let's see. So MIME types. Let's see, POSIX, the application again, and there's a copy of the same folder here, which is kind of crap, because it's you know, using storage for nothing. The readme file, let's see if I can open it somehow, so I can associate. Uh, ah, because it's just a plain file, can I duplicate it? Okay, I'm gonna move it to the desktop. readme.txt Let's open it with Word. So if we go here to Pocket Word, let's open it here. Uh, so use the source by, provided by Dave Katshian and tweak to build on Windows C 2000. And he used PowerPC APIs. Some window resize don't work. Doesn't build Win32. And basically what doesn't work, yeah? So in the name of the developer, his email. Let's see. Mm. Um, setup registry probably yeah, finishes the installation. Okay, double clicking Python files will work. No idea if, but we can try. Anyway, again, I have no experience, but it seems that we have a lot of libraries for compatibility zip file. 
uh, with a million things. So let's just go to uh, bin. We have a bin folder. There's a lib folder. Uh, let's go here. Let's run it from here. So let's go and find Python. So when you load it, you get the Python version when it was built, and the version and the platform. Yeah, so let me make the screen a bit darker so you can read. And let's write help because I don't know what else to do. Uh, help. So it should load some interactive help. Let if it's going to work. Mm, I just got another. So if for some using Python, should take the tutorial. How true? Mm. So let's see modules for the available modules. Um, should I do help modules? Well, as I said, I have no experience with Python. But there you go. You have an idea of what I can try to do to test this. Please leave a comment below and um, yes, thanks for watching.